Of course, the Dramatica query system is filled with all kinds of storytelling lists as well. So once you've completed your story structure, you can then encode that structure by coming up with real people, places, and events to represent the story points, and develop an exposition plan so you're all ready to write. Now what's a structure list to do after you've created your structure, illustrated your structure, and worked out your exposition plan? Well, here's the feature you don't want to miss. Scene creation. You can create scenes or chapters, name them whatever you want, and make as many of them as you want. Just click on this button as many times as you need to, and come back and add more if you like. For every scene or chapter, you have the opportunity to add appreciations that you've already created in their structure and illustrated in your storytelling. When you add that appreciation, it will show up here, and if you've done any storytelling, clicking this box will make that show up here as well. Then you can write your scene or chapter based on all the appreciations you determined ought to be in at this point, and you can even copy material simply by using your keyboard controls to cut or copy and paste up in this top window. That way you can use all of the storytelling you've already done as the basis for the scene you're going to write. Later on, all of these scenes can be printed out in the story treatment report which will put all of your words in order and you'll end up with a complete sequential treatment of your story from beginning to middle to end. As a structuralist writer, you're likely to forget to include a few things in storytelling. So there's a feature here that can be of a real help to you. Let's go back to the Add Appreciations area where we just were and click on the same story point. And now you'll see that for Main Character Resolve there's a little check mark and a little number next to it. The check mark indicates that we've used this particular story point at least once, and the number tells us how many times. By going through the list, you can verify that you've used every story point at least one time in one scene or chapter. And in this way, you'll make sure that even if you have a perfect structure, you're not leaving any holes in your storytelling. As you can see, Dramatica has an awful lot to offer the structuralist writer. And not just the features we've explored, but also a lot of other structural features tucked away in all corners of the software. So feel free to explore, try things out, there really isn't anything you can break. Just make sure that you don't save a file on top of another file, wiping out material you've already developed. And I also urge you that even though you're a structuralist, take a look at the inspirationist descriptions as well, because you'll find a lot of tips, tricks, and techniques for storytelling that you're going to want to use once you've completed your story's structure.